Well, let me uh, congratulate you once again for your achievement. Um, you have received an offer about two weeks ago, I think, right? Um, yeah. So, well, have you meanwhile settled on the realization that you will soon be doing project work at McKinsey? Thank you so much, Sidi. Um, I mean, to be honest, it still feels a bit unrealistic and uh, will do for some time, I guess. And, you know, just knowing that you're able to reach your end goal after many, many hours of preparations is a really good feeling. Uh, yeah. I was, of course, extremely happy when they called and extended the offer. So I really can't wait to start spend some time there at the Stockholm yeah. office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So um, now if you reflect back a bit on where you were when we started, right? When we started into the coaching program, when you reached out to me and uh, thinking about the development path that you took during our preparation. So what are your thoughts on that? What was, yeah, the most significant change that has fueled your success? Any aspects that you can maybe single out as particularly helpful? That's a really good question. Um, I would say that there are two main underlying reasons for my that that uh, helped me out for my success. The yeah. first one is when I was able to reach out to you to be a part of the preparation program because yeah. what you did was that you provided me with feedback on my weaknesses, strengths, but also the proper consulting toolbox that I could use to succeed. Yeah. And yeah. Another important part would also be the fact that you provide me with insight on how I could spend my time more efficiently during preparations, because you know there is a ton of resources out there on the internet, but a lot of them are really not that great, to be honest. And what you did was that you helped me pinpoint um, yeah. to find the, uh, the good material to use. And also the second reason, to just get quickly into that, was that when I came in contact with your mentees and started practicing with them using the, the consulting toolbox that you provide to us, yeah. uh, they were much better than me in the beginning, but I think I was able to learn from them how they navigate and think and yeah. approach a case and try to implement that by myself later yeah. on. Um, so yeah, those two reasons. Great, great. So. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, um, your initial planning was a bit different. So your interview date was initially a little bit earlier. And then towards the end of our preparation, I urged you to reschedule it in order to reach a little bit more stability and robustness, right, that is required. So um, it was not so much about uh, you were not able to perform. It was just about the stability, right, so that you could we have a mental ease uh, to walk into the interviews. So uh, do you think that this has then in the end played a substantial role in your success? 100% City, 100%. Because if, if we could go back and compare how I felt before and after we rescheduled we rescheduled the interview, it is day and night in terms of difference. Because yeah. when I had my interview two weeks ago, I felt much more confident. I was yeah. so calm, I was not stressed at all. Yeah. Uh, and I think that is because I was able to spend more time on improving my weaknesses together with both you and the mentees. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely. I, I think definitely that it was an important part of my su success to make yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, you've mentioned it, right? So you've uh, also practiced a lot with, uh, with my other, other mentees and especially at the beginning, uh, what you just said at the beginning, they, they, they had a little bit of advance, right? Uh, um, compared to you, but you were then also able to just iterate and then essentially close the gap, right? <laughs> so, um, and this is this is actually pretty cool because this is um, a pretty established feature of, um, um, of the coaching program and many mentees uh, uh, have actually benefited from this. Mm. Um, so, um, I mean, you you have practiced uh, also with other people, right? I guess uh, before you you went into the coaching program, so you've practiced with other people who are not in the coaching program. So, what would you say? What was the difference there, right? And how was this, yeah, dedicated group of mentees who were practicing together, uh, who, by the way, also <laughs> essentially now, meanwhile, have received their uh, offers with McKinsey, BCG, and Bain, so all three MBBs actually. 
So, but what would you say for you, how was this different than practicing with people that you might find maybe on the internet or on campus or something yeah. like that? I would say that the most important factor was the feedback that I received, because the feedback that your mentees provided to me, I, yeah. I felt like they added more value because they essentially knew what an interviewer is looking for in a potential. Yeah. And so they could provide me with that feedback. And I, and, I, and I think that also the consulting toolbox, we, we, we all use the same box. And in, in that sense, I could try to, it was easier for me to understand how they are implementing the consulting toolbox that you provided to us, and then to iterate that one. Um, yeah. and, and, and also one example that, that I can give you was that they knew that I was okay-ish with the, the calculation and exhibits. So they went all in with the brainstorming cases because that was yeah. my issue, the brainstorming yeah. part. You also know this. So during that one month part, we, we, we went all in with brainstorming cases and that really helped me out a lot. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mentees, they really helped me out. Awesome, awesome. So um, could you share a little bit your, your experience you had with your, with your interviews with, uh, with that particular office, right? The people that you talked to, the interviewers that you interacted with, how did it feel? Was it relaxed? Was it stressful, right? Was it stern? How was it? I mean, to be honest, they were they were so kind and nice people from McKinsey. And I'm not saying this because now I'm going to spend some time there. Because yeah. but I, I could really feel that they wanted the candidate to succeed with the interviews. Yeah. They were trying their best to make sure that you can bring the best side of yourself. And yeah. um, I yeah, and I think that that is really important. And before jumping to the PEI part. We had like a five-minute chat or something like that, just to you know get the interviews going, just to create a relaxed, um, relaxed environment. Yeah. And I truly do think that that really helped out. So I can confirm that consultants from McKinsey they are really nice people to talk to. Yeah. So I'd say that if someone right now is preparing for an upcoming interview with McKinsey, do not feel afraid or intimidated as long as you have spent a lot of time on preparing for the interview. So yes, yeah. do your best. Exactly. So uh, it, it, that's a very, uh, it's a very important point that you mentioned because uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, almost the most important point is that you as a candidate have understood what they are actually looking for. Because mm -hmm. this is almost the biggest struggling points for many people because they have this misconception of what this interview is, right? I mean, and we had this, uh, <laughs> We had these discussions, right, especially at the beginning of the um, uh, of the coaching, when I was essentially doing an exorcism with you, saying like, hey, this is not an oral exam, right? This is not an exam. This is a discussion. You just have to share your thinking. It's pretty relaxed, actually. And I think at that time, you, you didn't really believe me, I think. I, at that time, I did not. But now I definitely believe you. So, yeah, yeah. I understand what you meant. Awesome. So, uh, how did you then actually uh, receive the good news? I mean, did they call you the same day, or did they make you sweat for a couple of days? So, <laughs> so the thing is that I had my last interview. It was on a Tuesday, 6:30 p.m. So it was quite late. Yeah. And they told me that they will call me either Wednesday or Thursday. But you know, I was still stressed because most people I talk to receive mm -hmm. their offers the same day as the mm -hmm. last interview. <laughs> So therefore, I was a bit stressed, but um, you know, at, at the end of the day, they called me uh, that Wednesday, so the day after, yeah. like p.m., and extended me the offer, and I was really happy. So um, I would, I would, my recommendation to other people would be to not stress if they do not call the same day because they do not always do that. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I mean, uh, I have seen it all, right? So from a call within 20 minutes to uh, a call uh, two weeks later. Also, <laughs> both, both were offers, right? So it's crazy sometimes. <laughs> cool. So, um, I mean, uh, um, you just gave uh, already a hint uh, to people who are watching, but what would you say? What is maybe your, your number one tip, right, for people who are just ramping up their preparation because recruiting season is just uh, starting and ramping up in many markets currently. So someone who's now starting to prepare for McKinsey, What's your top number one tip? Yeah, my top number one tip would be to 
to tell you guys to not spend five hours a day practicing for two weeks. Spend one hour a day for a period of six to eight weeks because to build this way of logical thinking and to think like a consultant, it needs time. It really needs time. You can't stress that with amount of, you, you, you need to have a reasonable timeline to achieve uh, this goal. So everybody can develop this, but you really need to make sure that you invest the time needed and let it grow slowly. And then it, then it will come 100%. So yeah, yeah that's, that's very true. That's very true uh, because I mean, even, uh, even if the public perception is sometimes a bit different, but I mean, none of this is rocket science, right? I mean, strategy consulting is not rocket science. It's just, you need to understand what are the qualities I need to show, and then you have to make it more or less second nature to do things in that way, right? And yes, you're completely right, this takes time. And also, it has nothing to do with intelligence, right? It's just the way how the human brain is wired, right? If you want to change the way you're doing certain things, allow for adequate time. And don't try to uh, prepare for your interviews in 10 days. <laughs> I agree with you. So yeah. take your time and it will hopefully go well. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Uh, thanks for, for uh, this great chat. Um, congratulations again. Um, when, will you, when will you start? Um, I will start. Preliminary date is on September 8th this year. Okay. So you still have some time. <laughs> you can still enjoy the summer. <laughs> exactly. exactly. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. Thanks so much, Eddie. Take care. See you.